am I mixed or am I fully black? Put me under pressure here. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Miss Lauren Lee 11. Today I'm going to be answering the questions that you want answered. Last week on my YouTube community section, I was asking you guys to ask me some questions about hair and products and the stuff that I use. I'm going to be answering some today. If you didn't get a chance guys to put your questions down below to me, don't worry, I will do a part two if I get enough questions. Okay. So first and foremost, I'm going to ask the question, the two questions I am asked the most. The first one being, what is my hair type? My hair type is between tiny bits of 3B, but majority of 4A, and I love my 4A curls. This is my hair at the moment in mini braids. I've had it like this for about a week and a half. Still looks quite neat because I literally have had it up like this the whole time. Some of my ends are coming out as you can see. So my hair's gonna need to be washed and moisturized and re-protective styled for another week. So that is it. My hair is 3B, majority 4A. Second question I get asked a lot. Where am I from or am I mixed or am I fully black? Okay, let me just start like this. My heritage is Jamaican. My mum and dad both come from Jamaica. However, I am African. And the reason why I say that is because I've done my DNA ancestry and I see where I am actually from. I am from Nigeria, Benin and Togo, Cameroon, Congo and Western Bantu, i.e. the Bantu knots I had the other day, the Chinese ones, yes. And Ivory Coast and Ghana. And then the rest, guys, which is the mixture. I'm from Wales, Scotland, England, Northwestern Europe, Ireland as well. So that is my mixture, but predominantly African. Right, so those questions are out the way. Um, so let me go to my questions. Got my laptop here in front of me. So I've got a question here. How many washes do I have to do with the shampoo to get hair grease out of my hair? One wash. People might find that a bit weird, but I don't lather my hair in hair grease. I wash my hair usually every four days. I don't put a lot of hair grease on my hair every single day, so therefore, one wash of a sulfate shampoo will do. And that will lead me on to my next question, which is what shampoo do I use? Now, the current shampoo I've been using is Tresemme Moisture Rich. Um, I've been using this for a while. I have changed, gone through shampoos multiple times, but I always keep coming back to Tresemme because I like the way it cleans my hair. It's just simply said, I like the way it cleans my hair. And also I detangle my hair with the shampoo in it. Some shampoos are, can be quite rigid and make your hair feel a bit matted. I have tried shampoos like that. This one has, I suppose you can call it slip. I guess, I suppose you can. However, side note, I am possibly on the hunt for a new shampoo just because there was some controversy in the news recently with the whole shampoo, um, I believe it was Click Store in South Africa, if I'm correct. I'm not gonna go into detail on here, guys. So if you do wanna look into that, then look into it, but, mm. All right, so let's move on. What is your favorite hair product brand? Ooh, this is a good one. So for me to tell you the brand, I think I would have to tell you my favorite hair product first. Um, for, let's say for moisturizing, it, or a sealant, let's say, is uh, Dax and Blue Magic hair grease. Those are my favorite brands for hair greases. For my styler, my gels, Lusters S Curl. I, I have to say I'm a big fan of Lusters at the moment because obviously they do have the pink lotion as well. I'm a fan of Lusters at the moment. Not at the moment, I am just a fan of Lusters. I do love what they do. And also another brand I enjoy for the hair gel, Soft and Free. I love Soft and Free. Yes, I do. So I have a few favorite brands just because these are the things that work well in my hair for different reasons, i.e. shampooing, styling, moisturizing, sealant. Oh, so this leads me on to my next question. Do you stick with what works, have a staple, or do you consistently change? I try to stick with what works with my shampoo. I know I keep referring back to it, but that's the, that's the only product I can say has had longevity in my staples. However, sometimes my hair seems to not take to certain products that I've been using for a while. So then I will have to go, I'm forced to go and change it up. Other than that, I usually like to stay in my remit with my products. I don't like to change it too much because I like to see what a product can do over time. The way that I know it's gonna work well in my hair initially is the way that my hair reacts to it, i.e. whether my hair starts to frizz or whether my hair starts to curl, whether my hair soaks up the product or whether it just sits on top of my hair. 
okay this is a good one so this is what are your thoughts on liquid hair oil it says i have thin 3c and 4a hair with fine strands mixed hair sometimes no matter liquid or grease my hair just gets so heavy any suggestions Hmm, it's a good question. I always do say, guys, natural hair is trial and error and you really do have to just try what works with your hair. Um, I would say an oil that is light and possibly too light for my hair, but may suit your hair if you are a 3C for a fine strand. Um, almond oil is quite good, but if you do have any nut allergies, stay away from it obviously sesame oil same thing stay away from it if you have any allergies another light oil argan oil i'd say for you possibly if you do want to try hair grease there is softy hair grease another one um which is light oh i can't remember which one it was i can't remember the name of it they're set like a pomade in the jar but once you take them out smooth them on your skin you'll see it just kind of smooths off there's not really any static for it to be sticky or anything it just smooths off the skin like an oil Hopefully that helps. If you guys have any suggestions for my subscriber, please put your comments down below on this video because I can't think off the top of my head right now, guys. Put me under pressure here. Okay, what do you use to lay down your edges? So I did answer the, this question to the subscriber. I've done the video showing you how this product lays my edges as well as makes them straight. If you do know what I'm talking about, you, you do know what video I'm referring to. The product is this, Dax Naturals and it's a styling pomade. I discovered it lays my edges by accident. I just wanted to try it because it was Dax and it was Naturals. So as you do, pick up a product, figure it out. And the first time I used it, I used it in a ponytail. So I had my hair all smoothed back. I had my middle part in and my hair was smoothed down. When I took my edges out, they were dead straight and they were, they were laid. But prior to, prior to me even taking them out, they were laid. <laughs> they were laid better than a gel. A gel, because it's water-based, tends to curl my edges unless it's a heavy gel but this guys this pomade is amazing it says pomade i would maybe say it's like a butter and it's not really sticky it's smooth but it's like the only thing i can maybe describe it to is like a cocoa butter but as you rub it, it just becomes really shiny yeah so that's what i use on my edges However, guys, do be aware, I have mentioned this in my last video, it does contain sesame seed oil. So again, if you do have any allergies, the hey, Miss Lauren, can the s -Curl Texturizer Gel be used with the pink lotion like you did with the activator? Okay, so this is the gel, my pink lotion. I think we should try a mini test here. As I've got a strand of hair out, we're gonna, oh, as well try, we're gonna have a little quick demo. Figure it out, because I don't know the answer to this question, actually. Never tried it. Okay, so we're gonna use a little bit as the leave-in on the end. Okay, so let's put a little bit of the s -Curl gel. Yep. Not the best day to be wearing a black top, is it? Trying to do a demo. Oh, oh, that's quite nice. Oh, wow, look at that. Yes, to that question, yes, it works, it really does and the products mix so well. Okay, this is a good one. So, I'm gonna have to get a bit technical here. So it says, can you explain your thoughts on using silicones? I haven't tried the Esco moisturizer because it has simethicone, okay. Now, I've done a bit of research. I haven't dug too deep, but I've done a bit of research pertaining to this particular subject. Silicones are occlusive. So if you're not sure what that means, silicones create a barrier which stops other products penetrating into the strand. Simethicone is a mixture of dimethicone, which you possibly have heard of before, but it is mixed with silica gel, i.e. the simethicone. Silica gel, the only way I can really describe it, when you get a new product, you get a little packet like salt, tiny little packet, that's usually silica gel and that basically absorbs the moisture if, if there was any on the product, okay? Dimethicone coats the hair and gives the hair shine and makes it less lackluster. However, it is water insoluble, meaning that it doesn't allow water to penetrate into the strand and sometimes can be deemed as hard to remove. I use shampoo with sulfate, so I don't have any issues with removing products from my hair and I don't get product buildup at all. So silica, it says, I'm going to read this verbatim. So it says, silica is a vital mineral when you are shedding your hair excessively, leading to hair loss. And it also helps with both women and men for lackluster. 
and thin in hair. It is important to understand how, how silicone works to achieve healthy looking vitalized hair. Personally, I don't mind silicones at all. I know they're deemed bad for your hair, but my hair thrives with mineral oil and my hair thrives with silicones. I think it's personal preference. You have to go by what your hair is telling you. There are a lot of natural products that can contain that don't contain, sorry, mineral oil, parabens, sulfates, silicones, and they do nothing for my hair. And my last question, and this is from my friend Carlos, how you doing? Okay, so what would be your most epic, I know that's your favorite word, <laughs> favorite hairstyle you've given yourself since your YouTube journey? Can you choose a top three? Hmm, this is a good one. Yes, I can. I'm definitely gonna go with number one as my Bantu hairstyle my chiny bump the reason why i say this guys is because it took me a while to wear this style and that wasn't meant to rhyme i saw a lot of women with this particular hairstyle and i was scared to wear it through fear of being judged fear of standing out fear of looking intimidating i myself have been told i look intimidating even though i'm quiet as a mouse and i'm shy as anything it's because of my height and face no, <laughs> for me this was a it was like a powerful thing to wear this hairstyle especially knowing that i come from the bantu tribe and knowing where i come from i'm representing it's just so powerful it was a powerful hairstyle the meaning behind the hairstyle alone just makes it my number one number two hmm what would be my number two let me look through my videos because guys i've got a catalog of videos and sometimes your girl forgets what she does i like my heatless blowouts but that's not really a style but i like my heatless blowouts i'd say for my second style okay guys this would have to be my number two style and the reason why it's my number two is because my band two is my number one epic favorite style because i've been wearing this style since i was 16. so my parting down the middle my hair just pull back into a ponytail bun that is my style that's my go-to style when i'm fed up on my wash and goes that's my go-to style when i can't think of anything else to do that's my go-to style because it keeps my hair tucked away moisturized and it looks so sleek and chic and beautiful um i like the wet look uh i wouldn't say it would come in my top three because i don't find it's very easy to maintain i think number three would be a style that i can use hair grease so either a wash and go protective style something that i can use hair grease in because it's like if I don't put hair grease in, I don't feel that I'm finished. It's like making a sandwich, put the bottom layer of the bread, put all the ingredients in, and then you don't put the top layer on. That's how I feel. I don't put the top layer of hair grease on, I don't put the top slice on. That's how I feel. It's not finished. I need hair grease. <laughs> and I've had a lot of people say they've gone back to hair grease. They love how their hair looks now, feels now, the length, the thickness, what have you. It's people's own preferences, people's choices. Let's let people be. Anyway, so that, that's my thoughts on that. I don't, I don't even see the controversy. Anyway, yeah. So guys, that is it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. As I said, I can do a part two. Then leave your comments down below, your, your questions, I should say, down below on this video if you want a part two. And I will do a part two for you with more answers because then I'll have more questions. Yeah. Okay, so let me just check on this piece of hair that I just moisturized. This demo piece. Oh, look at that. Look at the shine. Oh, my hair is absolutely dry. It's not even wet anymore. Look at that. It is shiny. It is curled. Okay, so I think I'm going to have to do a video with that gel and that pink lotion. What do you think, guys? All right, guys, so anyway, that is it for this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe. You can go and check out my Bantu Knot video from last week, and I will see you in the next one. Thanks for watching. Bye.